it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is for the newest release from Olive F Polish. I have their collection for summer 2021 and it's called Cool Treats. This collection is available right now on the Olive F Polish website, which I will have linked down below. I will also have a link to my blog post on NicoleLoveZanals.com with all of my swatch photos. And don't forget, if you are new, don't forget to uh, subscribe, ring the notification bell, leave a little like, a comment, all the things. I would greatly appreciate it. This is a new channel. If you're new to the brand, um, Olive F Polish are um, made in the US. They are 10 free, cruelty free, vegan, and in 14 ml bottles. Each polish is priced at $9.75. Um, there's also a discounted rate if you purchase the entire collection. Again, all that information will be linked down below. Let's just get into this video. I almost forgot. And thank you so much, Walker, for sending this collection to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yes, now let's get into the video. First up, we have Creamsicle. Creamsicle is described as a bright creamsicle orange cream. Creamsicle had a fantastic formula. This applied buttery smooth, just like all the polishes in this collection, and just like all of the creams by this brand. I have never had a problem with formulas with any polish I have tried by this brand. So formula-wise, this was slightly on the thinner side, um, but not so thin that it was like watery or anything like that. It self-leveled perfectly. It applied evenly and easily. Um, I did notice that it did want to run down the stem of the brush a little bit, but it wasn't like terrible or anything like that. So anyway, this is the perfect creamsicle orange shade. It's like a very creamy orangey type of color. This one is going to be opaque in two to three coats depending on your nail length. I had pretty good coverage in two coats, but I had a tiny bit of light spots towards my tips, so I used three coats for my photos and my live swatch. Next up we have Pixie. Pixie is described as a fiery coral, coral shade with a pink shimmer. Pixie also had a fantastic formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin and I did not have any application issues. Um, the shimmer in this one is obvious but not like super in your face or color shifty. It's, I wouldn't necessarily call it delicate but maybe that is a good word to use. It's like very, it's very obvious in person. I feel like it didn't, it showed up in my swatch photos looking rather metallic and I feel like you can see it pretty well here in the live swatch um, portion. Um, this one is going to be a two to three coater depending on your nail length. I use three coats for my photos as well as here in the live swatch. Oh, and I forgot to mention the, um, the shimmer also does not show brush strokes at all. It's a very strong pink shimmer. Next up we have Rue. Rue is described as an Olympic blue cream. Rue had a fantastic formula. This applied so buttery smooth and self-leveled perfectly. This was also the most opaque from all the polishes in the release. I think this one, if you wear polishes in one coat, this will be right up your alley. And also I would say this is like a medium tone blue. I am showing it in two coats because I just never do one coat of anything. And because this one is so opaque, I would definitely um, recommend to make sure that you wear a nice quality base coat. Maybe it'll double up if blue polishes tend to stain you. I did not experience any staining with this polish, but your mileage may vary. Next up, we have Strawberry. Strawberry is described as a rich coral pink cream. Um, so Strawberry also had a buttery smooth formula. It didn't feel overly thick or thin, and I did not have any application issues. So the description for this one is a rich coral pink. I found that that described this one perfectly. In some lighting, it's going to look like a pink. In other lighting, it's going to look very coral. Here in the live swatch, it's pulling very coral. I found in natural lighting and my room lighting, it was looking very pink. This one is going to be opaque in two to three coats. I had a couple of nails that were perfectly opaque in two coats. And then I had a couple of nails that definitely needed that third coat. So I think short nails will probably be good in two coats. Longer nails, two to three coats. Um, no issues with staining with this polish either. Next up we have Tang. Tang is described as a bright marigold orange yellow cream. So Tang had a fantastic formula. It self-leveled perfectly. 
And I thought this, especially for um, a polish that has like a yellowy base, performed exceptionally well. I didn't have any issues with the self-leveling and it applied buttery smooth. I thought the description for this one was also just spot on. It was just really perfect. And for some reason, I keep wanting to call this one tangy. So if I call it tangy <laughs> anywhere, it's because I'm thinking of the Animal Crossing character tangy and <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's like the per it is the color of that of the drink tang in case anyone was wondering from what I remember This is the color of tang, but my brain keeps telling me it's tangy from Animal Crossing Anyway, this one is going to be a two to three coater depending on your application most likely more dependent on your nail length and application I didn't write in my notes why I did a third coat, but I'm assuming I had some transparency on my tips um, so short nails will probably be good in two coats. And the final polish is called Teddy. This one is described as a deep royal blue cream. Teddy had a fantastic formula. It was, I had buttery smooth application. I was a little bit surprised at how, um, sheer isn't the best word. <laughs> um, but I'm going to use sheer anyway. Uh, it was on the first coat, but it applied very evenly. Um, I feel like for the, the color of this one, it's kind of similar. It's not quite a navy blue. I feel like a deep royal blue is a good description for this one. It's not so dark that it looks like a fall polish. If you're familiar with the darker blues that often get released in summer collections, this is that type of blue. So not quite, there's something about it's a little bit brighter than a navy color. Anywho, no formula or application issues. I think this one is going to be a two or three coater depending on your nail length. For normal wear, I will most likely just wear this one in two coats. I had a little bit of transparency on my tips. Um, no issues with staining with this polish or any of the polishes in this release. So my favorites from this release are pretty predictable if you know me <laughs> or you follow the channel. Uh, my top pick from this release is going to be Pixie. I love the base color paired with the shimmer. I thought it was really fantastic. I honestly had a hard time deciding if I was going to say Pixie or Strawberry were my favorite. I really like both a lot, but I didn't want to pick four polishes out of six to be favorites. Uh, so yes, I'm just going to do three. Uh, my next favorite would be Rue. I thought this was a really fun blue polish. It was just absolutely gorgeous. The formulas by this brand are absolutely phenomenal. Just, I can't recommend them enough. And my final favorite would be Tang. Um, I totally forgot to mention, uh, this collection is inspired by some of Walker's favorite things from the 90s. And yes, Tang. Tang was the drink. I loved Tang. I feel like Tang, Capri Sun, um, Mondo, and I'm forgetting something. Tang, Mondo, Capri Sun. Snapple, I guess. Those, those were like the drinks, but I feel like as like a kid, Tang was like what I drank in the summer. And <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Anyways, let's get back into that. So yes, and so that's everything. So again, this collection is available right now on the Olive F Polish website, which I have linked down below. I would love to know what were your favorites. If you were a kid in the 90s, what did you enjoy in the 90s? So yes, I will talk to you on the next one. <laughs> Bye!